Welcome back to channel everyone. Today we're going to be talking about our uh, sheep pen build. Give us an update on what we got going on. We took about a week off because we ran out of uh, funding to uh, fund the build. So what I need now is I need a gate right here. This is a 14 foot gate. Pretty sure that's what we made it 14 foot. 16 foot is better, but 14 foot can be just fine. Plus it saves a little bit of money because the prices went so high on that stuff. But I'm going to walk down the fence line here and show you what we got done so far and what I got done last week before I had to stop. Uh, I got the materials to do the uh, the last piece, the last piece of defense, really, but I don't have the uh, the gate. So, and I promised y'all guys I'd build a uh, brace, an H brace, but we didn't get the time to do that on camera. But I do have one in my fencing playlist of the old style braces that we used to build the H brace let's walk down the line here i'm gonna show you the uh the new barn vision we got too as well that's gonna be joining this sheep pen so you see we walk down the line here fence is pretty strong i pulled it really tight in the past i put my my wire here i didn't put enough pressure on it and over time it would loosen up but this time I really, really pulled it. And that's kind of the reason why I didn't want to pull that last wire last week because of the brace, I didn't want it to move any. I wanted it to harden up real good because it's down here in this corner, believe it or not, this one brace actually moved a little bit when I pulled the wire. That corner post there actually pulled a little bit down there, but it's still strong, still fine. Probably should have put a double brace there. And the reason I put this post here in, I know somebody asked me why do you put that wooden post in the middle. I did that because of this little ditch here, this little terrace area, the low spot. I wanted to be able to pull this wire down and nail it. So the sheep wouldn't get underneath it there. A little, a little bit of a hill here, and you see how my wire here didn't really get that just perfect, but that'd be okay. Let's go down here to the uh in here and i'll show you what i'm talking about when you get done next hopefully we'll get back on it friday and next week thursday or friday it's too wet right now let's see now i pulled this wire pretty tight it's pretty good so that's a tight wire a lot of times i see people putting hog wire up and they just don't pull it tight you got to pull it tight and i'm gonna show y'all how to pull the wire tight using our truck and some come alongs and I pull this last piece down here but I got the wire here it's ready to go I got this post all set see there's the wire that's enough for this piece here I got some wire up on the hill for that bog wire fence to replace but this is all ready to go here I just need to get this wire nailed here this brace and pull it My deadline I have, February 20th, 21st, I don't think I'm going to meet that, but uh, we have, you, can't, you can't pay for it, you got to stop. So here's the brace I built last. It's pretty strong. I think I got four bags of concrete in there, 60 pound bags, I'm going to do 80 pounds or more too heavy. And uh, well, actually, I want, it's supposed to rain last week, and it did rain just like the other braces. I put water in a hole and then I let the uh, natural rain uh, really hold that concrete up. It makes it real, real strong. But right here is this little gap here. I'm gonna leave this gap here on purpose. Because what I want to do is I want to put a barn here. Uh, like a place where the sheep will have their babies. Or once they had their babies, it's real cold or rain or something, I could put them in here. But I kind of sprayed painted the outline. I don't know if you can see that on this camera or not. Now here's one stall. Here's a stall. Here's a stall. Here's a stall. Here's a stall. 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 So there'll be eight stalls, which one will probably be just for feed and supplies. So there'll be seven stalls. I got this open area here. Right here is open on purpose because what I want to do is I want the sheep to be able to go from pasture to pasture. Now if I have some sheep behind me here, 
that's in the future build fence all this in but i want to be able to transfer the sheet that had to go to that gate up there way up there right to the barn so i would all i need to have one gate to put in here i put a gate here in the middle that way the sheep will move back and forth if i got sheep in this one pasture they can go into the barn and these three stalls if we got sheep in this pasture here they can go in down here in these four stalls uh and i think that's that'll save us a gate to have to buy by building this and we got to have shelter from anyway and right here this little part here is our gate there we're gonna have like a chain link fence uh personnel gate there so this whole wire here is my wire here that i built a couple years ago it's leaning over real bad it's not holding a sheep anyway and the cow would happen the cow would push their head through there and i got that wire on there the cows push through it but they were so that had to be hog wire so we have, that'd be a pull we got the wire up there already for that so all we really need right now is to buy a gate and that gate's about 260 dollars right now for those gates and uh let's see what my plan was was to go ahead and get this wire pulled and i can't see the problem is i can't put my cows back over here because they're coming here and rub on these posts that don't have wire on so i was gonna put some panels up here temporarily some old cow panels keep the cows from here plus when this grass start growing uh so we need, we need to spray it for uh fire ants coming up we need to fertilize it if we can afford to fertilize this year which i doubt but we're gonna try and uh it's almost done i mean it, there's not much left on to do it and that house build ain't that important uh we can get that done later i don't even know if i'm about to buy materials for that or cut my own trees and build my own materials but we're also going to come in here when it's done and put electric wire about that height there on each one we're going to run electric wire down it because i don't want the sheep getting up against the fence and, and rubbing the hair and scratching uh they just loosen the fence up and uh that's what happened kind of up there that hog wire is the uh, cows would rub on it and will reach through it and all that stuff so we got to put some uh, electric wire on it and it's not that expensive electric wire the roll is kind of expensive the plastic insulators aren't that bad and i got plenty of them right now and i got some wire so it's coming along i appreciate you watching and uh We'll be back with y'all guys when we start pulling up wire. Have a good day.